Hi, I'm Jacob Hofer. I'm David Hamlin. And this is our race car project for artificial intelligence. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to showcase here is our value iteration agent, uh, which basically computes the optimal actions that uh, the car should take at every single possible different state. If we go in and debug this here, we are able to go and see we're going through our uh, looping, our time step, and let's actually go into perform time step where we go and we update our agent. And what this does is this will go and it'll say, oh, we actually needed to calculate all of our actions. And this is where we actually perform our value iteration. So I'm going to just step through this a couple times here. There we go. Because of debugging, it takes a little bit. But now we have our VMAPs. And we have a previous VMAP and we have a current VMAP. And these go through, and that's our previous one. Let's actually look at our current one. And this is pretty much just a giant hash map of states to their V values uh, computed every single iteration. And as we continue on through this, we'll actually get another mapping of our optimal actions here. And we can see that this is a map from a state to an action that we should take that's computed to be the optimal action for that state. So if we then go and let this continue, so now that it's finished calculating our value iteration, we can actually take a look over at the console here where we're drawing out the steps that the race car is going to take. And we can step through this one at a time here, and we can actually see the race car going and taking the most optimal path where he kind of goes down so that he can bank around the curve, and he gets to the finish line nice and perfectly. We can also test this out for other things, more interestingly, the R-Track using our nasty crash. So now we have value iteration for our R track and we can start stepping through it and we see the race car going around the track and he's banking around these curves because he really doesn't want to crash since in this one if he crashes he dies. Oh and look he actually crashed so we can see that he's all the way back at the start and now he has to go around once again and hopefully this time he gets lucky and doesn't actually crash. Oh no and he crashed again uh, but you get the idea eventually he will make it around to the start. Uh, he's just being incredibly incredibly unlucky. All right, so now we're in um, our Q learning agent. And the key part of our Q learning agent is the is model free. And so we're going to have a Q map to keep track of all the values. So a Q map, the keys for the Q map are going to be a state. And so the state will look like the um, agent's current X and Y position and X and Y velocity. And for each one of those states, there's going to be possible actions that they go with. So that will be um, acceleration vectors. So that one is minus one comma one. And so there's um, eight or, or there's uh, five more for that specific state, uh, minus one, minus one, zero, zero, and so on. And so if we continue stepping through, um, so we can see that um, D right there, that is our um, Q value. And so that is, that is where the agent stepped through and it assigned the Q values using our uh, formula and it put it into our Q table. Yep, and we can see as we're hovering over, it's going to put it in. We have a whole lot of values in this Q map, so it's actually kind of difficult to find it in there as a lot of them are going to be zero, so that's what they all start out as. But we can clearly see that they are getting updated. Yep. We can then go through and continue stepping through. And, and if we watch the console, we can see that our car is going, and it doesn't really know what it's doing. Um, it's just kind of going every which way and going backwards. And eventually, it'll get to the point where it will be able to complete every track. So um, as you can see, these are averages of our Q learning agent. And so these are the average number of steps that it takes for the Q learning agent to complete the L track. And so this is significant because for every different iteration of the Q learning agent, some are going to be good, some are going to be poor when the agent is just training. And so these take the um, average of the previous 500 iterations um, of the agent and it averages them out. And so we can see that it slowly and slowly gets better. And that is our program. Thank you for listening. Thank you.